Michelle and Woody Merrill's remodel completed their dream home. We raised the roof um, and, and added all of the space, this room and the master bedroom and, and bath. The main thing we did was add this story, the 800 50 square feet. But in the beginning, it was a risk they weren't sure they should take. After the five-month remodel by Marikal Design and Remodeling was finished, they now have exactly what they want and great tips for those considering their own remodel. It's a huge investment, not only financially, but emotionally. And you really don't want to go into something this extensive half-heartedly. So you really want to make sure that it is what you want to do and do your homework. We did some homework before we um, uh, took the plunge. The couple says they used a strategic analysis to decide if they should remodel or sell. We did a love it or list it analysis, <laughs> whether, whether to move. We looked at a number of different neighborhoods, a number of different communities. And came back to the decision that we wanted to stay here, so we had to remodel here. Once they decided to remodel, they began looking at their finances, but they wished they'd had someone to tell them about tip number three. When you're in the process of looking at whether to remodel, at the same time you should be looking at, all right, where are the, where are the documents we need? Tax returns, bank statements, uh, all that sort of thing. Start getting that ready because especially when you're looking at different financial uh, options, different uh, lenders, uh, you're going to have to provide that information to each of them separately and you really can save yourself a lot of heartache if you've got that together in a, in a place that you can locate. Next, decide if you want to live in the house during the remodel. Once you're in it, you're committed, so make sure that that's what you want to do. Finally, have patience and keep a sense of humor. Remember that it is a short-term discomfort and keep your eye um, on, on the long ball. And we were very fortunate. Our project manager, Bruce Howard, really helped in that respect. He just kept us focused on, um, on looking past the dust and the noise and living out of a box and um, past the disruption. and. We had to keep a sense of humor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> From North Park, I'm Phoebe Chong Chua for LiveFit Magazine.